Hey guys, my name is Samuel and you're watching Technorite. What's going on guys? Welcome to Technorite by Technology. It's done right. So welcome to another tutorial video. I've gotta start making more of these tutorial videos guys. Okay, so in my previous video you can see that um, I made a video on how to transfer your steam games into a, a USB flash drive and then like make it so you can plug it into any computer or something like that with steam <laughs> so in this video I'm going to teach you on how to make a portable steam hard disk drive so this uh, particular thing you can just plug it to any computer and you can run the games but you need to have an active internet connection and you don't need to download steam because it will be in the flash drive so I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get straight into it guys okay you can see now that it looks kinda different the screen just because uh, it's on my laptop and not my uh, main PC because my laptop doesn't have steam and my PC does so I don't really don't want to like uh, get both of that intact and ruin my steam thing on my PC so I'm just gonna use my laptop for this okay so first things first you need an uh, hard disk drive so I would recommend you to buy a cheap SSD and um, a normal uh, hard external hard drive uh, cover type of thing the link will be in the description you can just like uh, put in the SSD into it and you can make an, uh, ex an external SSD oh my god I'm so hard to speak right now so yeah if you have that help the games to boot much more faster and download and it won't take really long whereas in a flash drive I started just downloading one game and it took for hours to even get to the pay downloading page not to download it but just to get to the downloading so I wouldn't recommend a flash drive or USB drive I would recommend a external hard drive okay so yeah so I have this external hard drive right here it has an SSD in it so yeah it might go much more faster than this okay so you can see that this uh, F drive is my SSD so I've already installed steam to test whether this works but uh, yeah it works so I'm just going to right click come format okay so as you see here guys um, it says cap capacity you're going to leave it in the default option and file system even if you're using a, a external flash drive or a, a normal USB drive it will be on FAT32 default so make it to NTFS now since I'm using SSD so it is at NTFS as default but if yours is in FAT32 please format it in NTFS for better performance and so it supports the steam and then on allocation unit size just make it default allocation unit size and volume label you can I'm just going to name this steam drive okay then just check quick format and start yep okay format complete okay so just when you have a really good drive Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to go to our hardware browser, we are going to go to Steam, we are going to go to the Steam store Steam powered thing, we are going to click on install Steam, we install Steam now, and keep this file, okay open it, we are going to go to the setup, just the normal things, accept, next, English, next, okay so here the, dis the destination folder you are going to click on browse, to your steam drive make sure that's the directory click on it and click on make a new folder so what I would like to do is click just type in program files first okay and then I'm going to click it again click on make new folder and type in steam there okay and then click on that and click okay and then click on install okay and now it should do all that um, updating thing so this complete BS guys and 
yeah i'm going to fast forward this because you don't have to see this and i'm and i really want to make this tutorial short so yeah Hey guys, so we are back and yeah, it's asking me to uh, sign in. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so yep, I'm going to do that right now. So this is a really good, I really like the security feature of Steam. So nobody can hack into our account. It's just wonderful. And click on finish and yeah on the steam drive f wonderful so i just opened it okay wonderful so currently you can see steam right here and we do not have any games on it Okay, this is going to be hard. Okay, so um, I do have a backup copy of uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive. So what we are going to do is click on Steam, open the library, install this thing I'm a jiggy. Um, make sure it says F Program Files Steam. Okay, then click on Next. It should say Creating Local Game Files, Preparing Counter Strike. CSGO or whatever game you're going to prepare and you can see it's starting to download so we're going to pause this okay and we're going to probably go back here click on steam apps now you can see there's a lot of files you can click on common and you can see the file here okay so what we are going to do now is we're going to go back to the library you're going to right click here you can click on uninstall so delete okay done and you're going to close your steam and yeah you're going to delete this file which was the downloaded one and you're going to paste the back up one into your steam steam apps common and then you're just going to paste that file so this is going to take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay guys, so we are back, so it has successfully uh, pasted the file. So I'm going to X that. I'm going to exit Steam here, right here. And re-enter Steam. connecting to my steam account really sorry about the background noise guys okay so let's go to the library again and you can see construct global offensive you can click on install again okay so this is important guys make sure it's the um, this default um, library because this is where you pasted the file or you going or you have to navigate it to where you have pasted the um, game so yeah make sure that's right we'll click on next it will say creating local game files dif discovering ex existing files okay so this is good you have to do this method since um, if you don't follow this method exactly it will start re-downloading the whole guy a whole uh, game back guys so make sure you pause this video and like follow step by step uh, to not let that happen yeah okay so this is really going to take a while again why does everything have to take a while so let's just time lapse this thing let's go okay guys and we are back so yeah and you can see here that it's already verifying so 
it takes a while to verify it needs to see that if we have all the files so if it uh, detects any corrupted file it will re-download so after this verifying process it still downloads that means your file are corrupted or you don't have um, the latest updated game so even after this you have um, it, it started download so you have to leave it but um, if it finishes after verifying that means yeah you can run the game no problem so I would also like to point out that you need to uh, do this exact step each and every game that um, you install and you want to play okay and um, yeah I think that's about it so I'm gonna let it verify and just gonna time lapse it I'm gonna let it verify and um, start the game so just to show you guys that it works uh, no problem yeah so let's get to the end okay guys so yeah it says ready to play so okay so um, you know what okay I'm going to X out of steam we are going to close this exit we are going to delete this just make sure it's closed I'm going to click uh, move this one yeah whatever so uh, I've just removed my drive so, so just the steam drive we're going to go into program files Steam, Steam apps, common, global offensive, and it's there. Everything is there, verified. So we're gonna go to Steam, and we're going to run the application. It says updating Steam, verifying installation. We're gonna refresh that. So um, I would also like to clarify that when you plug this into a uh, sorry for about the background noise guys so we're going to you know, when you're plugging this into a new laptop if it doesn't have the required files such as direct x um, and etc your uh, steam will start to undergo the first time installation right so um, you will need a really active internet connection also to play this game so yeah, and my phone's just ringing. I'm not sure why. So yeah, you have all this. You can click X. Go to open it big library and play. Yeah. So as you see here, it's installing the direct X, and this shows that I've never um, played Counter Strike on this laptop. Also, you want to see the. Um, review of this particular laptop you can click on the card above right now so it's really a good budget laptop and I really like playing on it so it's just taking a few steps before I could play the game it says just step one of one it should not take that long but yeah let's just wait okay guys so yeah it says running and I can see a file there oh skip screen gone back this file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my external uh, camera just to show you that the game is running Okay, so you can see the game here running, and you can see my uh, drive here. This is my drive. Plug it straight into the uh, laptop, which is running Counter Strike CS:GO. Uh, no problem. You can, as you can see, let me bring the screen a little bit closer. So you're going to click on play. Um, Offline with bots and all that. It works, guys. So trust me, it works. We're going to exit the game now and let's switch back to the action screen recorder 
Okay guys, so yeah, I think that's about it. So if you need any, like you can see that I have many more games here. I don't have all those games backed up, so I really I need to download them again. So I just did this video sole purpose just to show you guys that you can um, make a DIY Steam portable drive wherever you go. So I think that's about it guys. If you have any questions, so I know that many of you arise with many complications in this uh, problem. So if you have any of the problems, just put them down in the comments and I'll try my best to reply ASAP and help you solve that problem. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'm out.